Hey guys, this is Jen and today I wanted to share with you what I take with me in my travel makeup bag. So I just came to San Francisco for the first time on a little weekend trip. It was just for two and a half days and we only took carry-on luggage. So I thought it would be informative and kind of curiosity satiating to show you what makeup I brought in my makeup bag and also what I put in my TSA approved one quart clear container which you can put your liquids inside so if you want to see what I brought then keep watching so I'm gonna start off with my makeup bag this is a fairly good sized one this is obviously from Too Faced it says so on the front it's just a velour bag this is the inside I don't want to tip too much and have everything fall out. I guess I'll just start off by what's on the top right here. I have one of these, of course this is a little fringe hair thing that'll keep your hair out of your face while you're doing your makeup. I love having these. It's pretty compact so it's good for traveling. And I'll start off with some of my makeup brushes. I know last time I did one of these videos, I didn't show what brushes I brought. Hopefully this gives you sort of an idea of my very bare essentials when it comes to my brushes. I have my buffing foundation brush. I use this for my mineral makeup. And then I also have an angled blush brush. I have a round top Sigmax brush, which I use for concealing spots. And then I have three eyeshadow brushes, which I think are super essential. I just have a flat, shading brush. I have a round kind of buffing brush and then I have a smaller pencil brush for working in the crease. Next I have a few of my essential eye products. I cannot live without my Ico Skinny Eyeliner. This is super easy for traveling and I also have a brown pencil liner. I can use this as a base or as eyeliner to smoke things out. It just really is a great neutral to keep with you. I also have my waterproof Urban Decay Cannonball Mascara which I love and my Leo Ellie Artist Auto Eyebrow Pencil, which I just, I can't live without doing my brows on any trip and this is my perfect color. Next, I have my handy dandy trusty Shiseido Eyelash Curler. And then I also have my Dolly Wink Lash Case for my false lashes that I'm going to wear during the trip. It just helps to keep them sort of separated and keeps them from getting smashed in all of my crazy travel stuff. So for face products and color makeup, I brought my Young Blood Mineral Foundation and then I brought two of my Naked products just because um, they're really everything I need to wear for any given look I might wear during one weekend. So I have my original Urban Decay Naked palette. It just has lots of great neutral colors. It's a really weird way for me to hold that, but I love this palette so much I can't live without it. And then I also brought my brand new Naked Flush palette. The reason I brought this is because it has a great bronzer. I feel like a lot of times when you travel and you want to take any photos of yourself, Bronzer just makes your face look so much more chiseled and skinny and nicer. So I really wanted to make sure to bring that. And this pink is just really flattering on my skin tone. And it just comes with the whole set without having to bring a separate blush and bronzer and highlighter product. So that's pretty handy. I brought two lipsticks. These are both Too Faced La Creme lipsticks. And I brought the color Spice Spice Baby, which is a great everyday neutral pink. And then I also brought Stiletto Red, which is the red lipstick I'm wearing right now. And then the final things are just a plain hair tie and then a little clip for when I'm, you know, getting ready in the morning or washing my face at night to keep my hair out of my face. For part two, I wanted to talk about what's in my TSA bag. This case is actually one from Travelon. I think I bought it at TJ Maxx with a set of a bunch of little small containers and it's clear so you can see everything inside. It fits the regulations for TSA and um, airport security. So it's just really handy to have. I love this thing and I've used it so much while I've traveled. So before I start, I just want to let you guys know what some of the rules are for TSA. First of all, your clear container has to be a one quart container. So that is like a one quart Ziploc bag or you can find some of these pre-made clear bags as well. So everything inside needs to be in three ounce or smaller containers, which means that if you have a really big lotion bottle, you can't take it on carry-on. You can check it in your checked luggage. For these short weekend trips, I'm just using carry-on bags. That means 
everything, including your face wash, your lotions, your shampoo and conditioner, any liquid products you have in your entire carry-on needs to fit in here, including your cosmetics. So just keep that in mind. Any cosmetics you want to bring that happen to be liquid need to also fit in here. So I'm gonna start off with my liquid foundation, which I brought as an alternative to my mineral makeup in case I needed to be film ready. So this is my Makeup Forever Matte Velvet Plus Foundation. This is 30 milliliters or 1.01 fluid ounces, so that means it's still small enough to fit in here. I also have my Makeup Forever Full Cover Concealer in number seven. Next, I also brought a primer. This is Benefits Professional. I also have my eyeshadow primer. This is Too Faced Shadow Insurance, and this came with another eyeshadow set, so it's a little travel size one, which is super handy. Anytime you have little travel size mascaras or concealers or primers or whatever liquid items, hold on to them because they're so great when you're traveling. I also stuck my lash glue in there. This is the Revlon Precision Lash Glue. And I also have one of these little travel lip gloss things. It's never a bad thing to have an extra lip gloss handy. So the next item I have in here is my face wash. This is just Philosophy Purity. And this is just the little travel one fluid ounce bottle. The next thing I have in my bag is a hand cream. If you've traveled on a plane, you know that cabin air is always really really drying so I always make sure to take a hand cream on any plane ride I go on and this is just the L'Occitane hand cream and it's the one fluid ounce bottle. I also have my shampoo and conditioner. This container is actually a set that I grabbed from one of my previous hotel visits. I really liked them because they have square containers so they kind of stack in any kind of bag or packaging really easily and so I just reuse these bottles over and over and kind of depot my own conditioner and shampoo into these bottles every time I travel. I also have a travel size body wash. A lot of times you can pick up these samples at like Target or something. They're usually about a dollar and these are also ones that are really great for you to reuse over and over so when it's empty I can just refill it with my body wash once again. Also for the dry cabin air I depotted some MAC Fix Plus into a little travel spray bottle. This is also great if your skin just gets really parched and you don't want to whip out your whole moisture routine. You can just spray this on your face really easily. For my base skincare, I also have a few more products. This is my Dior Snow Sunscreen Moisturizer. This is already 1.3 ounces, so it's travel friendly already as is. And then for my regular moisturizer and eye cream, I just depotted them in little travel containers. This is my Clinique Moisture Surge Intense. And then I also put my Mario Badescu Hyaluronic Acid Eye Cream in a little sample container from Nordstrom. So these are also handy to pick up if you go by a department store and ask for extra sample containers. They're so great for travel. We're down to the last two items. So finally, I have my little travel Bobbi Brown eye makeup remover. You can find these also from Lancome Bifacil, Clinique, Take the Day Off. I'm pretty sure you can pick up just buying some of these on places like eBay. So that's not a bad option. Or when you get gift with purchase things that have a little travel one, always hold on to them. And then finally, I have a little perfume sample. So if you go to Sephora or a department store, you can always ask for them to put a little bit in a sample container for you to test out the perfume and see if you like it. Well, one trick you can do is go there and ask for one you love already so that you can take it with you when you travel. That way you don't have any big glass containers that are going to break and make all of your clothes smell. I know some of you out there have had that happen and just ruined their entire luggage because it was covered with a broken perfume bottle. This is a great way to just have a little bit for a weekend trip and not worry about your perfume getting everywhere. Ask for your own favorite perfume. You'll get a little sample, throw it in your TSA bag. So I guess that's about it. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I hope it's helpful for some of you who might be traveling for a weekend trip plane ride sometime soon. So if you want more information about all of the rules for TSA and all of that, I'll go ahead and make a blog post on it, which I'll link down below. You can also subscribe to my channel for more videos. That's from head to toe. And you can also follow me on Twitter and Instagram to see what travels I'm up to. So this is Jen and I will talk to you guys next time. Bye. Uh, what is it called? Moisture Surge Intense. This is my Clinique Moisture Surge Intense. What? No, you just ruined my day.
take. No, you, you got ruined it. my take. You, you got it. <laughs> Moisture shirts. Courage. Shh. This. Oh my god. I'm sorry. I ruined like four takes. <laughs>